With the release of SQL Century version 7, we're proud to introduce a new product, Fragmentation Manager, the first integrated point-and-click solution for managing fragmentation across your enterprise. First, I'm going to provide a quick overview of what you'll see on the new Indexes tab inside Performance Advisor. Once Fragmentation Manager is enabled, a series of charts will appear that provide historical trending for various space, usage, and fragmentation-related metrics. The top three charts here are server-wide. The left chart provides a quick overview of how this server is doing from a fragmentation perspective. Uh, once a day, a snapshot is taken and all the indexes are grouped into ranges based on the fragmentation level. So you can quickly see how many indexes are in each range over time. The middle chart shows how effectively space is being used across the server, including empty space caused by non-full pages or internal fragmentation. The right chart shows total buffer usage over time as well as empty buffer space from non-full pages. If a page isn't full on disk, it won't be full on buffer. And on some systems, you'll see that there's a substantial portion of the buffer usage is actually just due to internal fragmentation. At the bottom, I have three charts that show index level details. And these will change whenever a new index is selected in the center area. The left chart shows historical fragmentation of the index. Each point here represents an analysis. And you can see how fragmentation gradually increases until it hits the reorg or rebuild threshold and then drops back down after being defragmented. The center chart shows the usage profile for the index. So you can see the growth trend of the index, uh, how much wasted space exists in the index over time, both on disk and in buffer, and how much of the index typically resides in buffer for any given time. The right chart shows the activity profile for the index. You'll notice as I move through the indexes, most every one has a different activity and fragmentation profile. And this is information that can be really valuable when you're making decisions about how and when to defragment. In the center area, we have a grid and tree view presentation of all the indexes on the server. You can easily filter by database or table or sort by any column. Currently, I'm showing only indexes greater than 10 megabytes in these databases. If I want to see which index is using the most buffer, I can sort by that column. Or if I want to see which database is consuming the most buffer, I can flip over to the tree view where I have the totals by object and database. If you sort by percent fragmented, you quickly get a view of your most fragmented indexes. From here, you can jump right into the index properties where you can review and make changes to the index definition to help reduce fragmentation if needed. I can also adjust the schedule at which the index is analyzed and defragged. Which brings me to my next topic, how to analyze and defragment your indexes with Fragmentation Manager. There are a few different ways to do this. You can manually analyze or defragment at any time directly from the grid or tree view. In fact, note from the tree view, I can operate on an entire database at the same time. You can do the same from the Navigator pane. Most importantly, you can set up automated defragmentation. You simply select the level at which you want to set up a defrag schedule. That can be the global level, which covers all the servers in your environment, the computer group, the instance, all the way down to the individual index level. As with all other settings in SQL Sentry, you can start at the top and work your way down. Overriding only is needed. Note here, I've set a global schedule for all servers for 12 a.m., but this particular server, I've set it to run at 2 a.m. The ability to schedule at the index level is particularly important if you're dealing with extremely large indexes that need their own dedicated defrag window. Once the schedules are set up, you can view and manage both historical and future defrag events on the event manager calendar, alongside all your other events like SQL agent jobs. And of course, you can reschedule them by drag and drop. When clicking on the step callout for a historical instance, you get a detailed listing of exactly what transpired during the defrag session. By clicking on a defrag event, you can see all the associated settings and make adjustments as needed. You'll see some traditional defrag settings like reorg and rebuild thresholds, as well as some settings entirely unique to SQL Sentry, such as the option for more than one defrag operation at the same time which can dramatically reduce the total defrag time and associated maintenance windows. You can run a, a post-defrag analysis and so you can immediately see your gains from defragmentation. 
And you also have full support for partitioning and sliding window scenarios. This has been a brief overview of some of the features of Fragmentation Manager in SQL Century version 7. You can download a fully functional evaluation version from our website. So take it for a spin and let us know what you think.